A South Coast girl and her mother take a trip to South America through virtual reality. As the politicians figure out how to handle the immigration question, the undocumented mother and daughter duo found a way to go back home electronically. KCOY 12's Natalie Vera found out how the project works. Oh my God! Gladys Campos hasn't been to her mom's house in 23 years. ¿Es la casa de mi mamá? That changed a few months ago. She walked in the home she grew up in for the first time since she left Peru, without actually leaving her house in Los Angeles. It was all possible thanks to virtual reality. La verdad no era lo que yo pensaba. To be honest, it wasn't what I was expecting. Yes, I've seen 3D videos and all that, but the 360 experience really made me feel like I was actually walking in my mom's house. It really feels so real. For Gladys and her family, the experience was the closest thing they had to going back home. The campos are undocumented. It was very emotional for me to see my, my grandma um, and not really to be there but not be able to really have a conversation with her. Um, so that was just kind of like, okay. This was a bittersweet moment for the Peruvian immigrants, virtual reality giving them the illusion of being back and the crude reminder that they were not. I miss my mom. She passed away in November and it hurts so much not being able to be there. Gladys used a VR headset similar to this one to walk and feel like she was really back at her mom's house in Peru. Gladys and Gloria's virtual reality experience was part of a family reunions project. I wanted to create a way to uh, kind of bridge the gap, bridge the distance and allow immigrant families to feel a little bit closer to home. Alvaro Morales, a Peruvian immigrant himself, wanted to create for the campos what he calls a virtual postcard. In many ways, I was a, uh, a delivery man of whatever messages that they were trying to convey and send to the, their families uh, uh, across the border. While the entrepreneur knows no virtual reality experience can take the place of an actual visit, I think the thing I find most is the food. He's hoping the project will help people see things differently. <laughs> It gives them a new perspective. For now, the campos reminisce on the good times Mira. and wait. Pienso que voy a regresar. I think I will go back one day. In Los Angeles, Natalie Vera reporting. The Camposes are one of 16 families who have participated in the Family Reunions Project over the last two years. The organizers have traveled to Peru, Mexico, El Salvador, and Guatemala to connect undocumented immigrants in the U.S. with their relatives back home.